Hi guys and ghouls. So as you can tell, I'm straight out of school, but I've been noticing a few code oranges on the Halloween pages. So I'm just gonna make a quick trip to TK Maxx um, and see if there's any code oranges. Dun, dun, dun. Anymore. Oh, a bear. I guess. <laughs> Let's see. Got moons. Skeleton. More moons. Oh. A ghosty. Ten ninety nine. Tiny go, so like one little Frankenstein's. Oh, Is there any other ones? I'll come back for you. No, it doesn't look like we're in the the realm of bath mats yet. Oh, there's something else. Dancing skeletons. My pumpkin. This is mine. by TK Maxx. <laughs> so it was definitely a code orange. It was a pretty good start. Um, you can definitely see how it's trickling in this year, starting with um, fabricity, fab fabric, fabricity things. Fabric, um, fabric. So I got, um, I got the bat tea towel, because that was cute. I got some eucalyptus, Continuing just generally. Will now start. GPS connected. I got some eucalyptus generally for my classroom, because I love eucalyptus. Um, and I was tempted by the cushions, but we're in the process of buying a new sofa. So um, I don't think we're gonna need any of the cushions and they were also quite expensive. But I did get, I mean, it's not strictly Halloween themed, but cute, this candle that has amethyst in it, which I was really excited about. And I also got the pumpkin cider one because um, in my classroom, I always have like a scented candle going for the atmosphere. And um, I've just coming towards the end of like my summery one. I think it's like a, like a cocktail, passion fruit cocktail flavor at the moment. I usually theme the smelled candles to like the time of year, but because I'm feeling super like code orange, I bought the pumpkin cider smelling one because it just smells like pumpkins. And then I'm gonna have this one for home anyway. Now to Sainsbury's, I doubt there's any code oranges in Sainsbury's. A low key code orange in Sainsbury's. Okay, it is a couple of days later, um, and I was going to like continue this video to make like a 
a long one because there wasn't much in it but then i feel like i need to put this out now so that you know to start looking now if that makes sense so um yeah they had some really nice cushions in there they seem like really nice quality cushions and um, they had quite a few hand towels so as as you can see this is all i got and it was 10.99 um i think this year i'm going to try and do some halloween hauls um but because of all the wedding stuff that's going on um i just feel like it will be unrealistic for me to try and make a haul of every single thing I bought. So I'm going to sort of just show you in vlogs if it's like little things, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I got this set of two hand towels and they're by Well Dressed Home, who we've seen them before. Um, 10 99 Now, I reckon last year these were probably around 6 99 So definitely the price has gone up. They do feel really gorgeous. Um, does it say what they're made out of? It doesn't say on there what they're made out of, so I thought, let's open up, let's see. I thought we could open it up together and then we can sort of get an idea of what to expect. Not that it was like an issue before, but I feel like the packaging is like more in depth this time. Like it's pinned like everywhere. Um, so there's like absolutely no way that it would have come apart in store. Perhaps they had problems with that or something. Okay, so we've got a nice ribbon. <laughs> which is still attached got a nice ribbon that you could easily reuse for something and this is the hand towel i'd say it's sort of tea towel size i don't know if there's an average size for a hand towel um i i feel like this is slightly smaller than the hand towels i have at the moment but it doesn't need to be any bigger so you have the bat at the bottom which is like a pliqued on. You can see from the other side. So it's like a pliqued on, finished off really nicely. It's like a velour feel. Um, it's like felted on the back and like velour on the front. And then the pattern is sort of reversed on that side. And then actually on the front, the white strips, like these white strips here are really soft. Again, like almost velour feeling. And then is it embroidered? Yeah, embroidered are little bats and dots, and they go all the way down. That's how it looks. Excuse the mess. So there's one. And obviously, two. And this one does have a label on it. So they are 100% cotton. A machine wash separately in cold water do not bleach that probably won't happen um if you look at some of the other ones that we've had that have said the same thing i mean this one's from a different um a different make but it's still machine wash you can see that it stayed you know i think this one may be two or three years old and it stayed okay so generally I mean, obviously these are tea towels, but generally they're okay for things like this. But, so I got those. The reason I got hand towels is we've been here for a year and a half and we've bought like blue hand towels to match the, the bathroom. Um, and I have bought a few pumpkin ones last year from Matalan. We don't really have like an abundance of hand towels. It's one of those like, Sometimes they are all in the wash sort of a deal. So we actually did need them. And then I also got this candle, which, yeah, it's really interesting. I thought it would be like when it burnt, you could like pick the um, amethyst out, but sort of how it burnt was it all um, went really liquidy up to like this line here. It was almost like clear liquid. And then these were sat in there. So you didn't really want to scoop them out mid burn and then as it you know once it it blew out and it kind of re-hardened really the amethyst disappeared <laughs> like there's one piece like just there that got covered but i mean it smells really nice i was just kind of excited for like 9.99 to get i assume it's just the three pieces of amethyst and a candle that does smell good i was quite pleased with that um the pumpkin one i've taken to school um, it's a Yankee candle, it smells amazing. 
Um, I also took the eucalyptus to school to go with like a decoration I was doing. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go back today, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, I'm still got, I've, I've still got, you can tell I'm so tired. I have still got two and a half weeks left of school. And then I'm hoping in the school holidays, I can just spend the holiday like decorating my classroom, doing wedding stuff and Halloween shopping are my three things I want to do. Um, I'm going on holiday at some point in August, but I think I've got like basically the end of July and August to do some cool stuff. So yes, I'm gonna keep it to vlog style at the moment um, until end of school, cause it's just easier like for editing. Um, but I do have like a load of videos ready to edit, which are pre-filmed. And just side note, cause I just saw it, my tattoo, my, this is my new one, it's still like really peely, so you can see, but it's like ready for spooky season. And then I'm thinking for like the next one, I may get like some bats or something on my shoulder. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, officially code orange. Um, and this was in June still, technically in June. So I think it's the earliest one that we've had yet. So stay tuned for more halloween hunting i'm literally going to go today so thank you very much for watching if you do have any questions please leave them down below if it's anywhere you are i hope you enjoy the shade and i'll see you next time bye